Um, these are the instructions. Oh no, I think I'm in trouble. I just got pixie pied. Pixie dusted. <laughs> and I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh, look at this. She is yeah! good. You may be thinking to yourself, 59 degrees isn't so bad, but for us Floridians, it is cold. And look at that low. It's supposed to go down to 48 tonight. Right now, my house is normally 75. That's what our cool two number is. I have the heat on. So currently it is 72. So it's a little cold in here. And now you'll know why I'm going to get firewood. That is my goal. I'm going to go get firewood and go to my favorite Mexican restaurant to grab some, at this point, dinner. Um, I haven't eaten yet today. And um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. So come with me. Tampa, the name of this place is called Black Dog Firewood. And for $20, I will be getting a barrel full of wood. And for an extra $5, she's gonna give me some kindling. Yay. So the way I do it. Okay. And always, you know, always try to put the heat against the grain instead of the bark. Right, okay. Start with the fat wood. And so get a couple pieces in. Crisscross like that. Okay, on top of my grate like that. Yep. Okay. And then lay in a piece and like this here. And then this is your kitchen. So this is smaller pieces. Oh. But very dry. Oh. And so okay. you put this on over your fat wood. And so it, what this will do when you get the flame from here, then it goes the up. Wood, right. And then what and then, about this? This is this. This is still the regular wood, yep, though. Yeah, still the wood. And then you just keep building it up over top like that. Okay. Always, always build so it. So the air can come up through it. You want the air and the heat to come up. So you're always putting the wood over top where your flame and your heat. Is. So that was David who taught me how to make a fire. Now hopefully I can do it on my own. I think he might be the owner. He was super nice. Now it's time to go down the street and get a tamale at my favorite place. but oh my goodness, if I had smell a vision I ended up getting a chorizo taco and the pork tamale. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is the tamale wrapped up. Oh, there she is. I'm telling you, this is the best tamale I've ever had outside of Bobby Flea's restaurant in Las Vegas. So this is Lowly's and I will put the address in the description box below. So if you're ever in Tampa or if you're from Tampa, you can go and try it out for yourself. I'm telling you, this is amazing. Mmm, so good. It is that time. Time for me to attempt to put up holiday lights. If you viewed my vlog last year, when I first started my vlog, it's way down at the bottom. You can see um, how horrible my holiday displays are compared to people in my neighborhood. People in my neighborhood go all out, and I don't want to feel left out, but I'm also not good at it. So. Last year, at the end of the season, I bought a light kit that will hopefully solve my problem. I'm gonna turn yes. around and show you. It's called Points of Light. I saw this in another neighborhood and apparently it comes in blue and white, which is what I bought. And if I aim this in the trees, it will look, hopefully, as if I have lights in the trees. We shall see if it works. All right, let's see what we're doing up here. This is ginormous ball. Um, these are the instructions. Oh no, I think I'm in trouble. Success. I attached the stick to the light. I'm making progress. Okay, I've got a problem with the remote. Mm. My husband's on home and I need for him to help me with this because this was open and now it won't open and I can't figure it out, and I'm not even sure if there's batteries in here. It's supposed to come with batteries. I'm very confused. This sucks. Here's the problem. It's supposed to let me go through all the different colors, and I want blue and white lights. Except I pushed something in here, and now I can't get it to undo, and I don't want to break a nail. My husband's not here, so I will show you what I've done in the meantime. So what I did is I plugged 
I plugged the light in and I aimed it at this bush and trees and it looks pretty cool from this side. I have to see how it looks from the street. The problem is it's the wrong colors. So that has to be Just fixed. to show you how bad I am at this, that's my neighbors. Those lights a bunch of lights like three houses. Then this way, we got all the lights on the trees. That goes all the way down the street. Yeah, mine, it's horrible. <laughs> Every year I try and every year I fail, but you know what? It's festive. Wrong colored lights. I want blue and white only. Um, I gotta figure out these lights. It looks kind of cool, I guess, if I shut the front porch light off. Still working on it. It's a project in process. On that note, <laughs> I'm going to uh, quit while I'm ahead, so to speak, and uh, wait till I have help in helping that out and uh, do this tomorrow. It's getting too cold for me too. It's supposed to warm up tomorrow. So stay tuned for part two of holiday decorations because uh, yeah, it's not nearly done yet. Thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to tune back in. We've got Logmas starting in a couple of days and Vlogoka. So have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.